It is another evening of unrest on campuses here in the U.S. We're going to bring you some live pictures now from Columbia University, where there is a very large police presence. A traffic has been shut down in both directions along Broadway. And you can see here the NYPD has set up a structure to enter Hamilton Hall. They say their operation on campus has begun. We saw police in riot, be uh, riot gear starting to enter this building, which a group of demonstrators has been occupying since the early hours of Tuesday. Now, according to local radio reports, students have been told to shelter in place. And according to a university email, administrators told students that non-compliance may result in disciplinary action. Uh, the protest group Columbia Students for Justice in Palestine posted a message on X warning that, quote, mass arrests are expected. And we're going to show you now the moment when police officers began to enter Hamilton Hall on the campus of Columbia University. You see it here as they enter the window. This was just moments ago as they were in riot gear entering there. Several officers using that ladder to reach an upper floor of the building, crawling through the opening to enter the hall. That is where this group of anti-war protesters has been since early this morning. We can confirm that some arrests have been made, but we're continuing to monitor uh, what we're hearing from on the ground in there as all the details come in. This, of course, all happening at Columbia after administrators threatened to expel students who occupied an academic building overnight. Dozens of anti-war demonstrators seizing Hamilton Hall early Tuesday morning, uh, defying a deadline to disperse. They say they plan to remain there until Colombia cuts financial ties with Israel. In a statement, the White House earlier condemned the actions of students, saying, quote, President Biden respects the right to free expression, but protests must be peaceful and lawful. Forcibly taking over buildings is not peaceful. It is wrong. And campus demonstrations have erupted from coast to coast in the few past days, many of them resulting in arrests including at the University of Texas at Austin, where police clashed with demonstrators on Monday. Uh, but Brown University in Rhode Island says it has made a deal with protesters. If they pack up, its governing body will hold a vote on divestment from companies with ties to Israel. Now, also at the University of Texas at Austin, at least 79 people were arrested during campus protests on Monday. The university saying 45 had no affiliation with UT Austin, and uh, the BBC's Tom Bateman has more. Well, when we showed up, it was uh, very quiet and very calm here at the University of Texas. That came after the scenes on Monday, when the university administration called in state troopers, Tex Texas state troopers, who some armed with batons and bolt cutters, came in and forcibly removed the encampment that was on this site here. The university said that that had breached university rules. They say they had repeatedly warned the protesters um, and that that warning had been ignored. The university also saying that it believes that many of the protesters on Monday were from off campus itself. But speaking to the protesters here today, they accuse the police of um, using violence to forcefully uh, remove them. I spoke to one man who said that uh, many people have been um, uh, very forcibly pulled away from the encampment and some uh, sprayed with pepper spray a little further on from the post protest as police were trying to take people away in police vans. He said he himself had been affected by that. And what we've seen really over the last few hours is a bit of a standoff between uh, the protesters, numbering around 50 or 60 or so, I'd say, on the lawn here, and a smaller group of counter-protesters who have come. There's been some uh, moments of friction between the two, but it has remained uh, very peaceful here overall today. Tom Bateman reporting there, uh, and we're continuing to see these pictures from Columbia University, and it actually released a statement in the last hour saying, quote, a little after 9 p.m. this evening, the NYPD arrived on campus at the university's request. This decision was made to restore safety and order to our community. They went on to say, we regret that protesters have chosen to escalate the situation through their actions. After the university learned overnight that Hamilton Hall had been occupied, vandalized and blockaded, we were left with no choice. Columbia public safety personnel were forced out of the building and a member of our facilities team was threatened. 
we will not risk the safety of our community or the potential for further escalation. The leadership team met throughout the night and into the early morning, consulting with security experts and law enforcement to determine the best plan to protect our students and the entire Columbia community. We made the decision early in the morning that this was a law enforcement manner and that the NYPD were best positioned to determine and execute an appropriate response. And we're gonna go live to Colombia now to speak to Bahar Ostadan, an NYPD and public safety reporter for Gothamist. That's a New York-based news outlet. Uh, Bahar, great to have you. We're looking at some live pictures as we speak to you. There's not a lot of action on our screen right now, but, but tell us what is happening where you are. Sure, so I'm here in a press pen just outside the school's gates where the police have sort of sectioned us off in within barricades. So to be honest, it's very difficult to get a clear vantage point of what's happening beyond what's directly in front of us. Um, but just now as it's starting to rain, you know, we've watched dozens and dozens of riot police enter the campus um, and bus students out in prisoner vans using, you know, plastic zip ties as they're arresting them. Um, and we're just sort of listening and hearing, you know, yelling from all corners around us, trying to get a sense of um, what's happening. Do you know, Bahar, at this point, how many people have been arrested and who has been taken into custody? No, it's it's unclear how many people have been arrested as of now. Police will hopefully release that number shortly. Um, but definitely we've seen, you know, at least a dozen or so students specifically be arrested and get bussed out of the campus gates that we're um, sort of stationed in front of right now. Yeah, I know you're in the press pen a little bit further away from it. Is there a sense of um, whether there's been clashes between those who are in Hamilton Hall and uh, the police who are entering? Sorry, what was that one more time? Whether there have been clashes, uh, any skirmishes between some of those protesters who are in Hamilton Hall and uh, the police who are entering. We're hearing, you know, a lot of us, as I'm sure much, much across the country and world are listening to the Columbia University student radio station. Um, you know, they've reported clashes, um, including, you know, one protester, one student protester who became unconscious um, as a result of some sort of clash. So it's unclear whether that was between police officers and the student or, you know, something that happened within the crowd. Um, certainly there's, you know, dozens of protesters outside of the gates. Um, they've been sort of pushing to get inside and police have been very firm, um, you know, gating off sort of all, you know, 10 plus blocks here on the main on the main road. Bahar, is there a, a big media presence as well? And how much access do media have to see what is happening in terms of the clearing of this building? Very limited. Um, so, you know, I'm hearing that there are a couple reporters inside of the campus gates, but only a couple. And those are reporters who'd been there since this morning. Um, and had been sort of parked throughout now, you know, for 12 plus hours. The rest of us, you know, there's roughly 50, maybe more reporters here, um, all sorts of local, national and international media, but we're confined to, you know, a very small gated area with very limited visibility about what's happening. Um, they're unfortunately blocking out student journalists who work for the Columbia University newspaper and radio from entering the campus right now. Um, they're only letting in students who live on on-campus dorms so that has limited some of the student press as well. Can you talk to us a bit, Bahar, about what led up to this moment? We know that the university told protesters who had occupied that building that they would face expulsion. What led to the police now moving in? Well, just a few hours ago at the NYPD headquarters, um, you know, I was present for a press conference with the New York City Mayor Eric Adams and top police officials who basically said, you know, we're urging students to leave Columbia as soon as possible. We're urging uh, parents to tell their kids to leave the campus. Um, and, you know, they started to list specific criminal charges that students would face, both students who are in the, uh, you know, anti-war encampment and those who are outside of or inside of Hamilton Hall, rather. Um, and so we took that as a nod to say, you know, this was imminent. And in fact, that was true. Um, so police at that news conference said, Students in the encampment will face charges ranging from trespassing to um, disorderly conduct. And those inside the administrative building that was uh, taken over by students would be charged with um, burglary, criminal mischief, um, and I believe trespassing as well. And Bahar, you know, we had seen the speculation that police would come in and clear protesters from this building. Can you give us a sense of how 
tense things are right there, what people are saying, other students are saying? Very tense. Um, you know, reporters and hundreds of protesters have been outside of the student, out of, side of the campus gates for hours now, sort of anticipating what might happen. Um, you can see 20 to 30 NYPD vans, large prisoner vans, sort of double-decker buses patrolling the entire area. There are hundreds of police officers in riot gear and helmets, um, you know, like I said, with plastic zip ties. Um, there are police drones hovering above us. And sort of uh, throughout this whole time, I'm not sure if you can see behind me, students living in off-campus apartments are sort of huddled behind the window, looking out from their living rooms, just watching this all play out in real time. Yeah, we're seeing images as you're talking, Bahar, of um, some police officers marching there as they're on uh, campus. But um, Bahar, is the entire area cordoned off? Can you know anyone move around? No. Um, if you are entering, you know, sort of the 10 block radius around Columbia University, you'll have a very difficult time getting anywhere, if at all. Um, you know, press have sort of had to game getting from corner to corner by walking two to three blocks around. Um, you know, making it back to from point A to point B. It's it's very very controlled by police using these sort of long uh, metal barricades across the entire area. Yeah, we're hearing that those arrested students have been moved to police buses. So as you were saying, Bahar, that reflects uh, some of what you're hearing on the ground there as well. But Bahar, uh, we're going to let you go now. But thank you so much for speaking with us tonight from Columbia University.